This reading is for my Aries, my beautiful Aries. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So we have Sun. Under the bottom, we have Ace of Earth. So you guys could be focused on like your business, your job, you know, your bag, your pinnacles, okay? Well, this, would, this could have been what you've been doing. Okay, you could have been working really hard. There's something about um something about um great prosperity, um good health, um strength. There's a lot of abundance that's coming in, in your life. And I'm hearing it's gonna hit like every area of your life. It's gonna bring you in a lot of um stability as well. Um a solid offer is coming in. There could be a King of Cups that want to come towards you as well. Someone who, who's very compassionate towards you that could be one to speak up. Okay, we have Scorpio. Somebody could be a son. Um, have um, Scorpio and a son or be dealing with one. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like somebody want to speak some type of truth to you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Yeah, somebody um sees you as a happiness, a joy. Does somebody want to bring you an offer? Give me more Holy Spirit on this energy. Upgrade. Termination. Mm. So somebody could be seeing you as this upgrade. But with the termination under the... Oh, okay. Termination with guidance under the bottom. Signs and symbolism. Hmm. Copycat. Apology. Life purpose. Hmm. Somebody could have... Um, something could be a, getting exposed. Somebody could have spread lies about... Um, how you get money or uh, somebody could have spoke um, ill about you being in your life purpose. Okay. Behind the scenes. Spirit could have been nudging you, giving you signs and symbolism when it comes to this energy. Some with an upgrade and termination. Maybe somebody didn't take something. Some some type of upgrade you got. Somebody didn't take it serious. You know, they, they went gossiping. But this is someone who um who mimics you, who wants to be like you. I feel like you could have been guided away um to move away from this energy. I also feel like this person is being guided towards you to speak some type of truth. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I feel like whatever the truth is, it's gonna be like oof. Behind the scenes with blackmail, tarot reading, and black magic and balance. Transformation. Somebody could have been trying to do black magic. Um, somebody could have been doing black magic. Uh, tarot reading could have exposed this. Somebody's going to be under judgment. I feel like with this balance card, you're about to get justice. Yeah, behind the scenes of blackmail. Whoever was doing something unfairly to you. Somebody could be rushing in to um give you an offer to apologize because somebody know that they about to they they about to be in trouble. Yeah. Somebody is seeing things from a higher perspective, you or this person, you could be realizing that this person is um they fake. They also could have been saying you fake, saying you didn't change. Somebody is getting a new perspective about you. Something could be significant about Thanksgiving, yeah, but caught up. Yeah.
Somebody just got it. Ugh. It's giving me heavy on the upsets. Like somebody just got really a thing for you. Like somebody wants to copy you. They want to end your upgrades. They, um, for the ones um, who this is coming into, somebody trying to end it before it can even come in. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for others of you guys, somebody is just trying to like, with the upgrade and termination, somebody is trying to end you and copy everything you do. They they want to, they want everything you got. They want you to be out of here while they out here copying everything you do. Mm -hmm. They want to get you out the way. Yep. Somebody could feel like you're very successful or you're very ambitious. Um, you know, very brave, very intuitive. And somebody wants something about you being in your life purpose. It's, it's a gift that you have that. You know, somebody is feeling some type of way about it. I feel like um, this energy feeling was being felt led to come to you and make things right. That could be the reason why somebody is coming in and bringing an offer. This all could happen in the past as well. Yeah, I can't make it up. Um, forming, structure, solid foundation, apology, and forgiveness. Somebody also could be realizing that, yeah, somebody is in regret. For messages and dreams, somebody could be dreaming about you a lot. You could be dreaming about this person as well. Maybe this person is sending you like um, telepathic messages. Yeah, with the self love and fulfillment, I feel like you guys have been focusing on you, nurturing you. Yeah, I feel like you guys been nurturing you. Loving on yourself. And somebody is in regret about it. <clears throat> whoever this um energy uh, whoever this energy is that wants to come to you, this person is very determined. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Well, somebody just self-care, healing, and a child, nurturing, compassion, guilt, sabotage, fragmented. I feel like somebody is just watering themselves right now. Somebody else feels like a still me to their own um, toxicity. Yeah, because it's giving me like a heavy projection. What, what, you, what this person had put out, it just is coming back. Somebody could have been guarded towards you because of some type of beliefs that they had. Or maybe somebody was just stuck in a south note and needed to grow up. wish fulfillment it's like the nine of cups leo aries sagittarius and jupiter new beginnings i said new beginning new beginning <laughs> so let's see you guys know it's mercury retrograde and i said what the heck um yes um some somebody jupiter is like in a full effect somebody seeing a bigger picture Okay, somebody um, definitely is going towards big big and better. And I feel like because you was loyal and you worked so hard, maybe somebody didn't um, like that you were like, um, that you could have like a, have a leadership role or somebody could not, you know, dislike your strength or, or your determination, to, you know, to go after the things that you want, you know, your wishes. And because you go after the things that you want, that's why you're able to get upgrades, you know, have the stability or 
you know, for a lot of you guys, it's a new job or career or business that you guys, you know, been working on or been waiting, you know, for some type of, um, but, you know, just saying that, you know, you approve or you got the position or you got the business, something that you've been waiting on. It's coming to fruition. You can expect like a powerful change. With this upgrade and termination, I feel like something is just being illuminated to you that who, whoever this person is that possibly, you know, <clears throat> was an enemy of her. And you could have been real genuine to this person. Somebody was trying to set somebody the hell up. But all they did was push somebody um, more into their north node. Somebody realizing something was, <laughs> was illusion. Nostalgia. Isolating. Spring. <sighs> Some type of illusion to have somebody stuck or by themselves in their head. That is not happening. I mean, something backfired. I'm telling you, something backfired. Give me more Holy Spirit. Party, Venus, Autumn. Something can be significant about the fall season, Venus, um, this, and what party. They could have been a third party here. Somebody could have um, gotten between of a, um, a love or for a connection that pulled the, um, came in around fall time. Somebody could be rushing in now and want to apologize to you because they realized whoever they got was a fake. Yeah, detachment, cold. Somebody is also realizing that they can't be codependent on your energy. Yeah, shine. Your light irritates their demons. And we have fed up. Somebody is, what the hell? Holy Spirit. Somebody fed up of your light, sussy? Somebody is fed up. Somebody is like, stop getting these wishes. Stop shining. Because you know I'm out here trying to copycat. So I got to catch up. Catch up. I heard catch up. Catch up. <laughs> Somebody's name could be Keisha. Keisha. up. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Shine and fed up. Um. Somebody just like, stop shining. Stop winning. Okay. With this Jupiter and upgrade, it's like, Termination. Somebody trying to was trying to end somebody that was fully in their life purpose. Mm-hmm. This Ace of Cups. In order to have this, like this Ace of Pentacles here, it's just like you got to be on the right path. You know. And Spirit is saying somebody ain't shit and dodging bullets. Yeah, you dodged a bullet. But now somebody wants to come in and kiss your behind because they see you as his boss. And I don't feel like it's just that because they see you as this boss. Somebody is really like, it's giving me, um, what's that saying? Um, and you can't beat them, join them. Like, <laughs> yeah, idol. That's what I'm getting. Like, yeah, idol and boss. Like, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> yeah. Somebody also could be wanting to get saved from some type of karma. Let's get yeah, forcer and moving on. Thank you. Next, obsessive lover. Now, be careful with this energy as well because whoever this person is, they have habits that you might be aware of, and some of you guys may not be aware of. But this person is not gonna, um, let's let's see because there's a third party here, somebody is not gonna take it very well. Okay, about somebody moving on, you know, just like that. This person possibly might try to force themselves and be very aggressive, okay? 
What's this force the Holy Spirit? And you're going to be shocked because at one point this person was cold and detached. Okay? For some of you guys, it was just recent that you just got to have a connection with this person. Forced and reflecting or you guys separated. Somebody also could be reflecting about um, some type of abuse, whether that was mentally, physically, spiritually. Let's move it on. Thank you, next. Somebody could have realized that they sabotaged something with you guys. Yeah, moving on. Thank you. Next is clear power. I'm bothered. I'm not playing with you, Sussies. You guys over here, spiritual hater, dirty offer. Like, how do you want to sit with me, but you don't even believe in my gifts? You talk about me, and then you copy me. Like, somebody want to keep you around because of your energy. Male or female, take it how it resonates. <clears throat> Workplace, relationships, whatever, romantic relationships. But time to take a high resume, son sees. But somebody is a do up this dirty awful with the spiritual hater. Spirit saying it ain't shit. Okay, that's very childish. They want to come in and give you a dirty offer. Spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. But this is somebody that just was out here running your mouth about mystical um sunflower collective sunsees. Like make it make sense. Yeah, now they all in their head. Now somebody want to come chasing you. What's the sense of lover? Obsessed lover. Yeah, they being haunted. Somebody's being haunted. Whoever this obsessive lover is, that puts you in a third party situation or had multiple choices. Yeah, ghosted. Somebody who ghosted you is is really being haunted, and they feel some type of way. Because they feel like, yeah, queen rising. This how they feel. With this big old ace of earth. Okay. Yeah, somebody was a thief. Came in fake, fake acting like they, uh-uh. Like somebody rock with you. Yeah, look at this too busy winning. Mm-mm-mm. Somebody know the abundance is attached to you because somebody knows that you're fully in your life purpose. This person could be still trying to find their way out here. Obviously, I mean, it just... Because if you fully... you fully Not only if you fully in your purpose, but if you tapped in and you're confident enough, you know who you are, why are you out here trying to be like the next? Everybody has a life purpose. You know? And, and it, it's unfortunate that some people who are not there yet, you know, they feel some type of way over you, sussies, because they feel like you ain't your life purpose. You wake up every day knowing what you, you what you're here and you called here to do. They too lazy to do the work on themselves to find out. So they see you and this queen rising too busy with him. Somebody freaking out, you know, somebody's a thief. And and they, they like it says your light um your light irritates their demons. They're fed up. Well, they, why would somebody be fed up because of your light irritating their demons? It's like your light gets under this person's skin. Somebody also know that um not only are you very wise, not only are you very um intuitive as well. Another big part of your your um your purpose, you know, you being you know being spiritually gifted. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you are very aware of them. They can't. Mm -mm. Moving on. Thank you. Next is clear fire or unbothered. And somebody doesn't like the fact that you're unbothered. They don't like that. This could have been somebody who possibly put you in a third party situation. Okay. That you could be now rejecting. Yes. This person could. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See, this person is. Um, very egotistical, prideful. They feel like because um, they never had nobody to reject them before. How dare you? Oh, no, you know who I am? You know who I am? Who are you? Please. My son sees who want to know. Who the hell are you? Please. Impersonator. You got copycat out here twice. Nightmares. Okay, so whoever this person is that's going through bankruptcy, that's having nightmares, that's being haunted, moving, possibly could be... um having problems with their living arrangements, this is all their bad karma, okay? This person could be definitely watching you do divination, um, legal issues. This person could be um, 
either a Libra or going through legal issues. This person watches um, a lot of readings too. Yeah. Somebody's trying to find out your next move. Holy Spirit. Let me get some Holy Spirit. Give me some more Holy Spirit. Five of Fire. Um, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So whoever this person is, they can be having conflict with other people now. Okay. Yeah, this person... Whoever this person that ghosted you, that's going through these money issues or um, having problems with with the moving, possibly somebody could be losing a home or be moving out of a home. This person ain't got nothing but time to think about what the hell they did to you. Somebody does not like their current, um, I heard living arrangements. I was going to say they don't like their current, you know, um, status when it comes to their stability. So maybe their living arrangements play a major part in that. Um you know, what, what affects them. But this person is not doing too well with all these legal issues and bankruptcy. And this person is looking for whoever, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to, I'm here trying to get by. Paul Peter to pay Paul. And you is the, you is the, oof. It's like, what the, you know what? Just somebody who's competing with you. And spirit is saying and, and, and nudging you and guiding you, you know, away from this energy be, and, and showing you the signs of symbolism. Or this could have been, you know, what was going on in the past. You could have felt that you were being guided to move away from this energy because you've seen something about this person. Eighth of Earth, skill work, skill work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school, so maybe you guys have went back to school, or you got some type of promotion because, um, or some type of skill that you learned at work. Somebody's been trying to project some type of fear on you, and you don't have nothing to be afraid of. Okay. Um, Ten of Earth, a very happy life, financially, security, finding your magic and the little things in life. This person is miserable. He had a will card, Archangel Michael. A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Yeah. Just be. Okay. This is sad that people like this in the world, but it is. Nine of Earth, enjoying life, little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self employment. So you could be your own boss. I feel like this is also you spending time alone, taking care of yourself, you know, going out, doing things, you know, for yourself. Dating yourself, possibly for you know, if you're single and stuff, um, just self love. Who am I picking up on here? You feel fully in your life purpose. I don't feel like, um, no, I don't feel like you're dealing with anyone. You could be, um, king of earth, generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time. Constantly accept opportunities you are being offered at this time. The Midas touch. Yes, somebody feels like that. The king of earth with the will. Somebody feels like you got the Midas touch. Like everything is just working out in your favor. I feel like you're completely in your divine feminine energy. Um, divine feminine or divine masculine. You know, I feel like you're completely in your divine feminine energy. And you, you are attracting these things because you're very aware of who you are, you know? Yeah, balance. 
things about to be balanced out when it comes to your love life, a romantic um, love life, and your finances. <clears throat> and this person also could have been very, you know, could have misjudged you. Mm -hmm. Someone could have told this person that, you know, you was a copycat, you was a thief. You know, you didn't know how to hold your own. You know, you weren't, you didn't have, you was just putting on, you didn't have security, you didn't have stability. And this person could be finding out, like, that was all lies. He had a dreamer, Archangel Metreon, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. I feel like you guys are right now ace of earth, brilliant new ideas, inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation and a challenge and beginning. So some of you guys could be just be getting out of a connection with someone or just be breaking it off or just be realizing some type of truth or clarity about a situation. And it could have definitely um, sparked your ideas when it comes to, um, you know, being creative at this time. A lot of you guys could be alchemists as well. But just seeing the truth about a situation and you definitely accepting it for what it is. Um. Eight of fire events moving at a fast pace. The ways are over. Eight of fire, I'm sorry. Events moving at a fast pace. The ways are over. Many things are happening at once. So it's a lot of things that's about to come flooding in your life. Okay? So many beautiful new opportunities. I feel like you guys are excited. You guys are excited. And somebody else who who's not feeling too good about that, okay? Like I said, just be aware of this person. You know, just make sure you guys are protecting yourselves or staying protected. Like just the later incident. You know, do whatever you got to do. You know, take your spiritual path. I don't feel like this person will be able to come next to you any damn way. Okay? But somebody is feeling some type of way about being cut off. Okay? Or be realizing that people lie to them about you. Ace of Earth. The inflow... The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So you guys should be signing some type of um, contracts or documents right now. This is your time. It's your season, sun seeds. The inflow of abundance, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're really in your divine feminine energy. You just attract them. I love that for you guys. Now let's get some time. Yeah, two of wands with the six of pentacles. You're about to be gifted with something. For making some type of wise choice or decision. I can't make it up. Making a wise choice or decision. Ace of swords to the three of swords. Spirit is saying that's the truth. There's some type of truth that's coming in for you. Okay? It could be coming from this person who's very hurt. They could be one to admit to you. Um, they misjudge you. Or what was their motives? Okay? Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody could be want to speak some type of truth to you after either ghosting you or walking away. Or now that you have walked away. Give me more Holy Spirit. Ooh. Okay. So we have the High Priestess. Pisces Energy. Cancer under the bottom. <clears throat> King of Pentacles. Somebody could be using the intuition um, to guide them at this time. Um, <clears throat> somebody can be focused on, you know, their family, their business, their career. Okay. But so, um, at this time, this is what you guys can be doing, you know, just real focused on, you know, what you want to do, you know, getting ready for 2024, you know, when it comes to your stability, your family, um, I just feel like you're just taking care of home. Four Pentacles to the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past wants to hold on to you, though. Yeah. We have um, Cancer Energy out here. Taurus. Eight of Swords to the Sun card. Um, Leo. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. But um, somebody is realizing that you're not stuck. You're not going to be stuck. Okay. Give me more Holy Spirit. Right? Give me more of this energy. Okay. 
Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Somebody felt like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Or maybe this person thought that you was going to miss out on an opportunity. Hi, priestess. Give me more Holy Spirit on this energy, please and thank you. That's too many more Holy Spirit with this energy. Yeah, it's not a Pentacles. A lot of you guys are just in your season of, um, you know, being alone, being single, focused on you, self-love, taking care of you, and <laughs> being rewarded as you go out. Um, after you go at, after your dreams and aspirations, you know, getting that creative spunk. Yes, the strength card to the temperance in reverse. Leo Sagittarius energy. Yeah, something that went to, um, something was in balance before. You could have felt real off your energy dealing with that person. With them projecting that energy onto you. It's like, mm -mm. maybe because you, you know, you you got to like, you see the truth of what somebody's intentions was. Like, it could have made you real unbalanced. But Spirit is saying, whoever that person is, they can't caught up. Balance is about to be restored. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more of this energy. Yes, I can't make it up. Eight of Pentacles. Something that you're going to be working on. You're going to be very skilled at it. A lot of you guys are going back to school. A lot of you guys are um, focused on something at work that you really want. A topic, a promotion. You could be having, I'm feeling like you got a lot of responsibilities as, as well at this time. Maybe a lot of people depend on you. Give me a card on High Priestess. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. High Priestess is clarified with the Three of Wands. So waiting. What's this waiting energy, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Okay, two of swords in reverse. So no longer still made, no longer um, being stuck or avoiding the situation. Somebody is moving forward. They listen to the intuition. Seven of swords, five of cups. And who, somebody else that was a thief is in regret about that. Because they see you moving forward. What's the ace of pentacles? The world card. Two of cups. Somebody could be seeing something um, online. Something could be going viral. Somebody could be announcing. A, something could be definitely. It's like you get an, um, you're going to be seen. Ace of Pentacles with the world card. Yeah. Somebody could have been trying to end something for you or keep you stuck and that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, the tower. What's the tower, Holy Spirit? Scorpio energy. Four pentacles. Yeah, somebody was trying to hold you back so they can like hold you back from some new um, hold you back from some uh, Ace of Pentacles situation. Somebody wanted that for themselves. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Somebody played on somebody's heartstring as well. Yeah, the temper's in the up right now. Yeah. You're about to get balanced as you focus on you and close out a cycle. Six of Wands. The Hermit. I cannot make it up. Mm -hmm. This is you going with them. Or maybe you learned something when you went with them. Okay. It's like somebody see this person, see you in this very balanced and temperate energy, you know, getting this attention, success and rewards and accolades. And somebody wanted you to go ghost. Like they wanted you to like see Ace of Wands. That's the damn truth with the Six of Swords. It's like somebody was just like, get out of here. Like, like I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm so tired. Yeah, you see, shine. Your light irritates their demons. Fed up. Somebody fed up because you're shining. What the hell? It's so weird in here, so deep. But we've seen it. 
Your light irritates their demons, fed up. Somebody wants you just to go away with the Ace of Wands again. Yeah, with the Shrimp card. Like, somebody don't like how brave you are. It's like, get up, get, give up, give up on what you're passionate about. You know, what you do for work. Like, let it go. Just go away. Like, I want to end you. Damn. Two of Wands to the Moon card? Oh, you have no idea what this person was planning on doing. King of Swords, that's the damn truth. But um, I feel like you know now I'm with the High Priestess. You're very aware. And somebody feels like they got to speak some type of truth to you. Just need the justice. Yeah. Things about to be balanced out. Ooh, child. Somebody could be going to jail. Mm-hmm. Or work for the legal system. Somebody also could be communicating, calling someone collect, because I see they the ones earlier, too. Oh, share. What's the shrimp called, Holy Spirit? The shrimp. <clears throat> Virgo, Sagittarius, Leo, energy. Mm. Eight of Cups, the Devil, the Seven of Swords. You walked away from this sneaky, lion, thief, conniving ass person. Could be a Capricorn. What's the um Devil? Two of Cups. Whoever you was in this relationship with. The Moon. Somebody can have Capricorn and Moon, Leo and Moon. Two of Cups. Somebody can have Capricorn and Venus, Cancer and Venus. Um, Libra and Venus, Libra and a Moon. Leo and a Venus. But um, yeah, whoever this two, um, soulmate connection is with the Moon card, the Seven of Swords, um, this person also could have just, you know, uh, you know, this going to be for some of you guys. This person also, they could have came with, at, you know, uh, one way, you know. Um, maybe you thought this person was one way, you know, you didn't know that this person was like obsessive or controlling with the force of heart. Um, and you realize that this person had a dark side that they was hiding from you with the moon to the devil, seven of swords. Okay. It's like somebody is now realizing something about a person that they was in a relationship with. Yeah. Page of swords. Yeah. It's like doing research and studying and just like, oh no, with the judgment, I, I, with the king of swords, like, ah, nah, I think I'm going to fall all the way back because I see what you want. You want my light. What's the hermit? The hermit. The emperor. Aries energy. Page of cups. I told you somebody wants to apologize. What's the emperor? What's the emperor? The lovers, nine of swords. Yeah, somebody want to apologize about making um about some choice or decision that they made that could have possibly caused you great pain, or could have caused you great great pain. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. <clears throat> somebody could have Aries and a Venus. What's the, um, give me a card on the lovers. Gemini's out here as well. The lovers. Okay, the lovers is clarified with the six of pentacles on the floor. Let me get. <clears throat> so somebody wants to gift you with something. They want to buy you something. <clears throat> This person could be working really hard at work, okay, to gift you with something. So they, this person could be trying to figure out a way how to come back in and win you over, you know, to balance things out with you. What's the nine of swords? What they're worried about? What they're worried about? Ace of cups. They're worried about this love, this star card. If you're going to heal things with them, four cups. Or is you going to reject them, five of pentacles, possibly lead them out in the cold like they did you? Somebody worried about that. Page of Cups. They want to apologize. And it fell out on the Seven of Swords. Somebody want to apologize, you know, for these sneaky lying ways before. Ten of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. Mm. 
ten ten to be some nigga fit. But after a season of being delayed, okay, or things taking too long, there is about to be, I'm telling you, an overload of abundance, okay? In each and every way for you. Give me a part of the five of pentacles, Holy Spirit. Five of swords, five, five could be the nigga fit. I feel like you can expect a beautiful change. Okay. Um, whoever this other person is, that is, ooh. Somebody is just jealous. And it's, it, it, it's like, <sighs> like, I feel your energy, so he's like, that's not, that's not your problem. That's something that they got to take up with God divine. Okay. You was chosen to, you know, bring some type of um, generational curse in your bloodline. Something about your willpower, something of you being strong, something about you being gifted or um, very temperate enough to handle whatever this calling is, whatever this life purpose is for you. Somebody who can't stand also your protection as well. Three of swords to the chariot. Somebody who is hurt that's coming towards you. <clears throat> What's the page of cups? Yeah, this person, they want to apologize. Page of pentacles. I feel like you guys are going to be getting like a bonus check or, or something about tips or some type of, um, you got to get some bonus extra money. Give me more Holy Spirit. The page of cups. Seven of Pentacles, the fool. Somebody feel like a fool mm -mm. for having you in a third party situation, for choosing someone else over you. Um, somebody feels like whoever they invested with was a money hungry person. They could have possibly lost a lot. Where well, this person had to start off from scratch now. What's the fool? <clears throat> Knight of Cups. I told you somebody feels the type of way. They feel like a fool for not investing in this connection with you guys. This person, what's the Knight of Cups? I feel like they want to come in and, and charm you and, 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 you know, buddy you guys up. The, the Knight of Cups clarify with the Three of Swords, Ace of Swords. Spirit is saying that's the truth. Ten of Swords. The truth is that somebody is hurt and they feel betrayed because something is going in your favor. Eight of Swords to the Death Card. Having somebody stuck and bonded and that is over with. Something is changing about somebody being stuck, okay? The Sun card to the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, because somebody is getting some type of um, clarity where you're getting, like, you're getting forward movement. You're being able to have forward movement. You're going to get this happiness. You're going to get this, um, this joy, this prosperity, this abundance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Nine of Cups, Four of Wands. Ten of Cups, Two of Wands. Yeah, something that was that was delayed for you when it comes to your happiness, your stability, your wishes. Things about to be balanced out. Okay, you're about to get common justice. And somebody knows that. <clears throat> Give me more messages, Holy Spirit. Maybe somebody you shared a family with or somebody you was friends with with the friendship. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. This person tries to fight it. 